Alright, hello YouTube, welcome to my second episode of my how to install LC PDFR series. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the simple trainer, otherwise known as the end game menu. If you look in the description portion of this video, you will see a link to the simple trainer. Go ahead and click on that link and it should look about like this. And then you want to make sure you download it. Go ahead and hit download now. Once that has downloaded, you should get a screen that looks like this uh, right here. Uh, the only two files that you really want to concern yourself with at this point is the trainer.asi and the trainer.ini files. So you want to go ahead and select both of those. And now you want to open up your GTA folder to your main directory, which looks like this. It's just opening your folder is your main directory. You want to make sure you take both of those files and go ahead and put them in the main directory. Just drag them over. Now, this sorts everything alphabetically, so if you look down at the bottom, you'll see trainer.asi and trainer. One thing I recommend doing before going into game with the trainer is disabling the key bindings. This will prevent um, the trainer from interfering with any other keys that you use during the game. So to do that, you double click on the trainer I and I file, and the best way to find this is to hit Control F and then type in key bindings. And keep hitting find next until you get to the menu where it says key bindings disabled. Yours will more than likely say zero, uh, zero right here instead of one. Uh, change that to a one and then save it. This is also the same menu uh, where you will change anything else that you want to customize yourself. So for instance, if you never want to reload your gun in this game, change the no reload to a one. That's all you do. Anything you want to change through here, all you have to do is change it to 1. So make sure your key bindings disabled is set to 1 and then save. Alright, so that has installed the trainer and now I'm going to go into game and show you guys how to use the trainer in game. So we'll be back with you in just a moment. Alright guys, welcome back. I'm going to show you from step one how to use this trainer in game. And this is what I typically do to avoid having to walk all the way to a police station. Go ahead and start your LC PDFR, and then I'll look for the police stations, which of course are, you know, the white stars on the map. Put a waypoint, and then all you have to do is teleport to that location. And to pull this menu up, you hit F3. If that doesn't work, hit F4. Sometimes the F4 button pulls it up, sometimes F3 pulls it up, but usually F3 will pull it up. You navigate this menu by the numpad arrows. So the um, arrows on your numpad to the right um, is how you navigate this. So, of course, if you want to go down, you press the down arrow button. If you want to go up, you press the 8 or the up arrow. And then once you select something, you press the 5 button. So if I want to teleport, I go to teleporting, hit the 5 button, teleport to waypoint, and there we are. It's that simple. That's how that works. Alright, uh, the same goes if you want to spawn a car. And uh, you hit the zero button to go back, so if you want to go back, hit zero on your numpad. Zero. Car spawning, hit the five. Use your arrows, and then if you need to go over to the next menu, you hit the six or four. Those are the side arrows, so you hit six. Keep going down, you don't see anything you want here, go to the next menu, police. And there you guys have it. That is how you spawn the cars in the game. Now, once you're in a car, if you want to know how to clean it or do anything else like that, once again, hit the zero. You go up to car options. And here's the car options menu. There's clean car, fix car, flip car, all kinds of stuff. You can change the color slots in some vehicles. Usually when you download these uh, kind of police cars um, off the internet, though, they will not have different color slots. So there's a whole lot you can do with these guys. Um, you know, you just kind of have to play around with it, learn it. Uh, if you go into the main options, you can turn on special god mode. You could turn on all kinds of stuff, do whatever you want to do. So there's a lot you can learn with it, but this is the, uh, this is a good basic step, uh, just knowing how to navigate it. And then whenever you're done with the trainer menu, hit F4 and it disappears. Now, like I said, sometimes hitting F4, like I just did, will pull it back up. Sometimes hitting F3 will pull it back up. So just, if F3 doesn't work, hit F4. It's that easy. Alright guys, that'll do it for this tutorial. I hope that this helped you. Once again, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section of this video, and I will get back to them as soon as I can. I've also noticed my other subscribers have been helping out with this as well. Guys, feel absolutely free to uh, respond to any comments and, uh, and help people out if you know the answer to it. I do not mind that whatsoever. Uh, we're all here to help each other. 
So guys, next episode I'll show you how to install cars and uh, I'll probably show you how to install ELS and all that. But that'll do it for today. Thank you for watching everyone and have a great day.